Hey YouTube, Dan here from EAP Films Official. Today is reaction day as you know and this time we're looking at star 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 amazing voice Filipino sales boy sings with American customer so I'm presuming he's very good otherwise you guys wouldn't have asked me to react to it <laughs> um, it says share this video to help a very poor Filipino family first time no practice shocks everyone walking by uh, so let's have a listen Is it going? To be honest, I didn't really expect him to sound like that. Whoa. I didn't expect that either. That other guy might as well just go home. believe how high his voice is. I'm surprised he hasn't made, like, he hasn't caused a huge crowd to gather. Just walking by like it happens every day. This reminds me of a time I was walking through Venice with my wife. Uh, we just got engaged, it was the day we got engaged and we were walking back from a restaurant and we walked past, um, I don't know if you guys will know the, the store but it's called Lush and it's basically like a shop that creates all kinds of soaps, different scents and different, oh, you know, basically a soap shop. And for some reason there was a karaoke going on and we just stopped and watched it. I mean, it was literally, the, the store was packed and people were gathered outside as well. We were walking past and we just stopped and I filmed a little bit of it. And I was just like, this is what you don't see every day, especially in a soap shop. It just shows you that you can be in the most ordinary of places and just stumble across such wonderful talent like that. was incredible I'm just looking at that at the 
currently that 16 people have put a thumbs down to that. Why? It was nothing wrong with that. And it looks like there's another video as well. I'm not sure if it's the same song, but again, another, you know, sales boy sings with American customer uh, video. So I might check that as another time as well. But, it, you know, you don't need some, oh, as, if you, as long as you've got a camera on your phone or whatever, just to hand and you happen to capture something like that, sooner or later, that's going to go viral. And you suddenly have your audience online. You don't necessarily have to do the X Factor or, you know, whatever, try and join a competition. You can just be anywhere. As long as, it, as, long as you find an audience, as long as people share your videos and stuff. I mean, with you guys, for example, when I did reaction films, I didn't think I would get many followers, if I'm honest. I was amazed that I'd, some of my, film, some of my uh, content started to gain a few more subscribers and a few more views. And look at now, just over a month later, there's nearly 5,000 subscribers. And to me, that's just, I can't quite comprehend how quickly it's grown in such a short space of time. And I've been on YouTube for years, but I've, it's only really been for work and just some, you know, private, uh, some videos that I've set to private for like, you know, clients and stuff. Um, and only recently I've started to do more publicly known videos and just hope to get somewhere with it really um my ambition with it was never really to find fame or fortune it was just i would like to think that i have opinions on things and and also that my my reactions are relatable and i like to think that with when people watch it with me so when you guys are watching this now that you get to share the same experience with me you might have already seen the film but it's it's sharing that experience with people as well. Like I remember when I showed my mom uh, Game of Thrones. We didn't start with episode one from series one. We started. It wasn't even an episode. It was. It was the end of episode nine in season three. If you've not seen Game of Thrones, I won't spoil it for you. But for those who've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. I literally showed her that scene, and she was sat there like. And she didn't, you know, she had no context of who the characters were, why you should care for them, but she was just, she just felt like her gut had been ripped out. And I wish I'd filmed it now. And now she's, you know, she's up to date with it all now, so she did go back and watch it all. I went quite a bit off topic then, didn't I? I've kind of forgotten my train of thought. Hopefully I've already covered it. <laughs> Sometimes I do that, I, I, I sort of go on a tangent and then break off from that and I forget what my point was and I'm just like, uh, whatever. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you next time.